Of all the things that have changed with Windows 8, it's the navigation. I want you to think, it's not terrifying, it's nothing too scary, it's just something completely new and unfamiliar. Remember, this is the biggest revolution in 20 years of desktop computing, and you're about to be a part of it. The first thing you'll see when you log into Windows 8 is your start screen, and this is where all your applications and new live tiles live. What we're going to do is show you how to navigate through these using either the touch screen or your keyboard and mouse. Windows 8 is often referred to as a touch-first operating system. This means that the easiest way to navigate the system is through a touch screen interface. Let's have a go at opening an application. All you have to do is tap, and that opens it nice and easily for you. To get the right click that most of us are familiar with, press and hold. And this will bring up a screen that's quite familiar to the majority of us. To resize the app, drag down and either pull it to the left or to the right. And that gives you the option to snap it into place. To move it back into place, pull back and release, and that will snap it back into place. To close the app, pull down and release. And that way, the application is closed nice and easily. A great way to be able to find the modern app quickly on the start screen is by arranging your tiles into columns with names. Simply drag the tiles where you want them, and after putting them in a chosen column, you can zoom out, select or right-click the column you wish to name, and type a name for it. To zoom in and out of your start screen, all you have to do is pinch. This gives you a great overview of all the applications that you have on your screen. And to exit, pinch out. Nice and simply there. To navigate through your apps, you can open several at the same time and then go back to your start screen. And then to relocate them, all you have to do is press down and drag. To create live tiles, all you have to do is to click again, and an option will appear on the bottom of the screen that allows you to turn on the live tiles or to turn them off, and even better, to resize them according to your own needs. And that way, we have a nice visual image on the back of the screen. There are other ways in which you can use the touch interface such as dragging the page when you are in a Windows 8 modern style app, down from the top and pinning to the sides. In Windows 8, multitasking is a little different to normal. Because every app runs in full screen, swiping in then out from the left will show the currently active applications you can switch between at will. You can drag the thumbnail to the bottom of the screen to actually close it. In addition, if you drag the current application from the top, you can snap it side to side and have two applications running side by side. 